Let's take a look at the frog internal lifts. So the frog position is this one here. So we're at 90 degrees and we want to try to keep your hips in line with your knees. I'm just going to rest my elbows down onto the ground. If this is too uncomfortable, you can actually elevate your elbows on something like a soft mat or a pillow or bolster. So in this position here, holding, I like to hold this position for roughly like 30 to 60 seconds. You can also move around too. So move in this position forward and back. And what you want to try to do is allow the knees to slide out. I like to do it on carpet with like longer pants so the knees have something to slide on. So in this position, once you're comfortable down here, we're going to do 10 reps on each side. So the idea with this one is to internally rotate at the hip. So we're lifting the foot, but actually we're really concentrating on this internal rotation of the hip each time. We're going to do 10 on each leg and then 10 together with a hold. So finding this position, again, hips aren't forward and the hips aren't too far back. Level with the knees. From here, we go one leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Concentrating on that internal rotation, lifting the foot as high as possible. Another five seconds. And three, two, one. Other side. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Just check in with the hips, make sure they're level with the knees. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. All right, this is the hard one, so both together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and relax. You can come out of it. Nice. So again, concentrating on that internal rotation of the hip. The foot is moving, but we're really concentrating on that hip.